Hello again everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint and welcome back to ARK Survival Evolved. I wanted to do a quick uh, video today. Um, I'm touch on some basics of uh, taming and basic animal behavior in the game. Um, there might have been some confusion in one of my previous videos about how uh, dinosaurs eat and what they eat and if, you know, how it's placed in their inventory may determine what they eat or something. But anyways, I'm just going to demonstrate real quick kill these guys around here and I'm gonna find something just to knock out and tame just to kind of show that make sure there's no confusion on this let's see all right pull this one away it's a level 12 so it shouldn't take but a few shots to bring it down oh well shit that got screwed up here I'll show you on this pig since my saber tooth is just gonna sit there and bite that guy and kill it. Oh, there's a raptor. No wonder. Okay. My saber tooth will kill that triceratops as well. And I'll tame this, or I'll knock out this little theoma over here. This one should be fairly easy to knock out. Stuck. There we go, it's unconscious. Okay, so I'm trying to keep my eye out. I think I saw a raptor up there on the hill. Access its inventory, come on. Why can't I get its inventory? There we go. Okay, so I've got a hundred, excuse me, I've got a hundred of each berry, and I happen to know that all herbivores prefer the purple berry. It's their favorite berry. So I'm just going to throw a few on here, okay? and let it eat. Now at first it did eat the first thing I threw in its inventory because its favorite berry is not in its inventory yet. Now that its favorite berry is in its inventory anything it eats henceforth will be the purple berry. It will only eat if, if the purple berry or whatever the dinosaur's favorite item is not in its inventory, it will eat according to the very first item you put in it will eat. But if its favorite item is in its inventory, the purple berry in the case of all herbivores, it will eat it before it eats anything else in its inventory, every time. It works the same with um, prime meat on carnivores. If you have a stack of regular meat and no prime meat on its inventory, if you just have regular meat, it will eat that in the order that it's placed. But if you have any prime meat anywhere in its inventory, it will eat the prime meat first, and then once all of that is eaten, it will go back and eat them in order again. But as you can clearly see, it is eating the purple berries and eating the purple berries only at this time. Once, uh, once I put the purple berries in its inventory, that's all it's going to eat until it runs out of that. Um, now, I'll take these off really quick and go show you... Um, how this works with a tamed dinosaur, one that's already tamed. I'll run back to base real quick and show you. Uh, get on my saber cat here. And I'll show you with a couple of them, a couple of tamed animals, how its favorite food works. And, and the reason that they made that in the game, they put those in the game so that you could tame them faster. That's how you tame animals faster, um, is by putting their favorite food in their inventory so they eat those, they prefer to eat those, and they tame quicker. Um, that's the whole point of having prime meat and purple berries and everything in the game. And, and the new kibble that they just introduced, oh, we got to kill this raptor, is the whole reason they put it in there is so that you would be able to tame animals faster. Um, so um, I'll do a demonstration up here with the, uh, I should have a stegosaurus up here. I can do this on. I might even be able to do it. Show you with the. Uh... All right. So this guy should have nothing on his inventory. So I'm going to drop the exact same amount of items. Um, I'm going to have equal. Okay. Give you guys another demonstration here with the uh, Triceratops. I've got 50 of each berry, and um, it doesn't really matter what order I put them in because this one is already tamed. It will eat whatever I place first that's the first item it's going to eat. And until it runs out of that, then it'll move to the next item and run out of that. That's true in most cases, in almost all cases. The only exception is there's currently a bug in the game, unless they've patched it in the past day. Um, there's currently a bug in the game where 
they will eat any cooked meat you put in their inventory. Uh, carnivores, I'm sorry. Carnivores will eat any cooked meat you put in their inventory, like jerky or cooked meat or cooked prime meat. They will eat it first over whatever you've placed in the inventory. It's a bug, and they're, they're working on patching it out. I don't know if they've patched it yet. But I'll even show you guys here with the scorpions the same thing. is It's a little different with the scorpions. I'll show you. Um, there's an exception to those. So let me get... Uh, let's see. This one right here will do. So it's got... Um, a stack of uh, spoiled meat in this inventory here, and it's got a stack of raw meat. I'm going to move its raw meat to the front of its inventory, ahead of the spoiled meat, and wait for it to eat. So give it just a second. Got 20 and 75. All right, I put a saddle on him to speed this up a bit so that uh, <clears throat> he would eat quicker because just sitting there, they take forever to, for their hunger to go down enough to eat. So I'm going to run around for a second. And uh, so let 20... Okay, so it just ate. It just ate to increase its food right here. It just ate. Its food meter went down. So as you can see, it ate the spoiled meat over the raw meat. That's because that is its favorite food. Now, the scorpion is an exception to the rule. Generally speaking, they will eat whatever is first in their inventory once they're tamed. But the scorpion is an exception to the rule because it, it, it's, it will always eat spoiled meat over anything else, no matter what you put in it. It seems like I've even put prime meat in its inventory, and it prefers spoiled meat. Um, that's the way the game is coded, and that's the way the game plays right now. This is uh, the end of July, so it could change in the future. But as of the way the game plays right now, that's the way it works. Um, so... Uh, I guess I'll take a second here and show off some of my uh, some of the creatures I've tamed. I've got five scorpions. Uh, four of them are right here. This is kind of my egg collecting area. This is the little spot where I'm putting a bunch of females to come by and check for eggs every once in a while. I got a bunch of dodos in this uh, in this pen right here. There's an egg right there. In fact, um, I just come by and check on them every once in a while. Gather eggs. And uh, over over here is my is our main base where I keep the rest of our uh, my animals. I've got um, I've got some other animals that are not here currently. Um, I've got some in some caves and things like that. But for the most part, I got uh, just about everything here. I think I've got one of everything except a Spinosaurus. I've got at least one of everything. I've got a Raptor over here. You can't see it because its head is in the wall currently. A couple of Dilophosaurus, another Scorpion over here, a Parasaur. I've got two T-Rexes, um, an Ankylosaurus, a uh, Fioma, a Spe a S ooh, my mind just went blank, a Stegosaurus, um, Sabertooth Tiger is my other uh, T-Rex. I've got the new birds, the uh, Dilophosaurus. I've got four of those here on the front porch. I keep my Brontosaurus out there to gather berries. He sits out there over there in the trees. She's a level 120 or something like that. Got a crocodile sarcosuchus down here in the bottom, along with my turtle, the carbonemus. I keep them down here next to the water, just just because that's where they prefer to be, I guess. <laughs> um, and then up on the roof, you can't see them from here, are all the birds. I'll run up there and show them to you real quick. <clears throat> all of our big birds up here at the top on the landing pad open the hatch here so I've got three pteranodons up here um, and they are uh, all female so I you know come up here every once in a while to check for eggs from them too um, and then I've got a um, Argentavis the big bird my falcor here she's uh, they've just recently uh, updated the game and made it so that if they're mate boosted they have a 50% chance of dropping eggs so that's something I gotta go consider now instead of just having all females I've gotta go capture a male to put so that they all get that mate boost bonus because um, for the most part all I've been keeping are females around the base um, with the exception of a couple of um, dinosaurs I just have females because I want them to lay eggs that's what I want um, and I've got my uh, <sighs> Woolly Mammoth out here on the edge. Um, I do have some of the uh, the fish tamed. Uh, the, it's not fish, the, the shark, the um, Megalodon shark, and I've got a couple of the uh, 
ichthyosaurus, little dolphin-looking creatures. They're at our water base um, all over on the other island. Well, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post a new video every day, play a lot of survival games like Ark and Seven Days to Die and things like that. So I hope to see you again on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you.